What is good everyone? Welcome back to a brand new Amazon video. In today's video, as you can see by the title, I'm going to be talking about why I hate working at Amazon. So I'm going to be bringing up five different reasons on why I just do not like this job and my least favorite things about it. Today is going to be a little bit more of a negative video than usual, but of course I'll try to keep it as positive as possible because I, I just hate spreading negativity. But when you're talking about the reasons why you hate working at your job, it's kind of hard to stay on the positive side, but I will try and do that. I'm going to get started straight off with number one, and these are not in any specific order at all but I'm just going to be doing it this way. And my first reason on why I hate working at Amazon is the inconsistency between managers and HR and just every higher up in general. The inconsistency and the difference between each of them is very, very frustrating. And what I mean by that is that there is no consistency between any of the managers. They will all tell you different things. Same with HR, they will all tell you different things. It doesn't make any sense. There's like no set rules at Amazon. And I mean, there is, but it's followed differently by each manager. And I'll give an example here real quick. Some managers do not care about the TOT rule. Some of them don't care if you go to 45 minutes, 50 minutes, however long you're away from your station. As long as it's not excessive, like an hour or something, manage, some managers just don't care about it. But some managers do. And, and because of how much Amazon switches your manager, it's very like, you don't know what's going on. Like as an example, I remember my first manager that I had, if you showed up, my, so my start time is seven o'clock in the morning. If you started working after 7.08, you would get written up. But other managers, they don't care about that. My current manager doesn't care if you start at like 7.15, 7.20. You don't get written up for that. The previous manager I had before this manager doesn't care. They don't care if you start working at 7.15, 7.20 as well. It doesn't matter. As long as you start working like before 7.30, it's all grand and you're okay. So the inconsistency there is just really, really annoying. I'll give you another example. The very first manager that I had wrote me up on my, I think it was like my second or third week at Amazon because I had came back like one or two minutes late from lunch. And, and yeah, I got written up for that for coming like one or two minutes late from the first lunch this is the one where you're supposed to clock out now that i've been here for over a year i know that that you can't get a write-up for the first lunch for coming late from your first lunch because you clock out during that lunch you can't get a write-up for that but for whatever reason i basically got taken advantage of because i wasn't experienced enough and i didn't know that that was a thing where you can't get written up on your first lunch but i got written up for my first lunch for coming back late from my lunch break on my first lunch it was only like one or two minutes after 30 minutes of a break and I got written up for that. And I thought that that was the normal. So after that, I just, I took only a 30 minute lunch break, 25 minutes sometimes, because I didn't know that you could, that that wasn't a thing where you're not supposed to be getting written up for your first lunch break. And then my second manager, my second manager didn't care at all. My second manager didn't care what time you came back from your break, as long as it's not excessive, they did not care at all. And then my third manager, they were just like the first one, but only for the second break, of course, where they didn't want you to come back late from your second break. It's like, okay, what am I supposed to do? Like, and so sometimes they would threaten to write me up and it's like, okay, what, what am I supposed to do? I don't understand what's going on here. Why is it that some managers, they only want you to take a certain amount of break and then the other ones don't care. It, it just doesn't make any sense at all. Another example I give has to do with HR. So this was like a year ago. So I was still pretty new to Amazon. I was only a couple months old at Amazon and I got written up for TOT. It was, it was bull crap. It, 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 I shouldn't have gotten written up, but basically, I didn't know what was going on and I was still new at Amazon, but I did get written up. And so I went to HR and I asked the lady like, how long does this write up stay? Like if I get written up again, will I get, will I get fired or what's going to happen? And she was like, this write up stays forever. If you get written up again, you're gone from Amazon forever, which isn't true. But at the time I didn't know that. And I went up to another manager. So that was, that was HR. I went up to another manager and they told me like, it'll fall off of your record after a month and then you'll be good again. And, and it'll be a first written if you get written up again. And then I went to another HR person and they told me that it doesn't fall off until a year. And if you get written up again, it'll be a second written. And it's just like, what? so which one is it? And, and this has happened to me for several different things as well, where if you ask HR something, HR is probably the most clueless sometimes. Like some of them, I don't know who they hire or, how, or why they train them the way they do, but sometimes you can go to HR three times in one shift. And if you see three different people, Sometimes they'll all tell you something different. Every single time they'll tell you something different. It's nonsensical, I'll be honest. It doesn't make sense. I don't know why it's like this, but Amazon is just, they're very inconsistent with their managers and their HR and the information that they've taught them during their training or whatever. Because again, I went to HR, I got told something different and then I went to a manager, got told something different and then I went to HR again to a different HR person and got told something completely different. It's just like, what am I, What? what is the actual rule here? Will I get, if I get written up again, will I actually get fired? And when does the write-up fall off of my record? It was the most confusing situation in my life being told so many different things by the same exact company on the same exact shift it was so confusing that is just one of the things that i really really hate about amazon is that 
every single manager and HR person will tell you something completely different and it will be so inconsistent. It's, there's just no consistency between any of the managers. And then one more thing on that is that none of the managers will communicate with each other. Sometimes they'll tell somebody to do something and then another manager will tell that same person to do something else. And it's just like communicate with each other so you guys know what's going on. For whatever reason, the Amazon managers do not communicate with each other at all sometimes. It's very, maybe this is just my location, but it is very unorganized so much inconsistency it's just like come on guys communicate and just follow a certain path of rules and stay to that path of rules it's so inconsistent i feel like i spent a lot of time on that one but there's just so much to say about that first one but for number two this one's definitely a lot more simple and i should definitely not spend as much time on it as i did the previous one and that's is that it's just boring like working here is just so boring i've done multiple positions already and it's just every single one of them is so boring like it's just a, it's the same thing day in and day out i feel like they make this job to where they don't want you to stay here for really long. It's so mind-numbingly boring. Uh, you can't use your phone. You're not allowed to have headphones. Although some managers don't care. The official rule is that you're not allowed to have headphones and you can be written up for it. Um, no phones, no headphones, no entertainment, no nothing like that. You're just sitting there scanning items and putting them into bins. Well, at least in my stow in case you are. If you're a packer, you're just packing items all day, sending them off. Like no matter what you're doing, you're doing the same thing over and over. The only thing that kind of keeps you entertained is seeing what different items people order inside the Amazon warehouse and kind of what packages are coming in and stuff like that. Like it's kind of cool to see that, but it just day after day doing the same thing is so mind numbingly boring. And of course, like I said, you can't use your headphones or anything like that. It's just so boring. This job is very, very boring no matter what position you do. And that is one of the reasons I hate working here is that it's so boring. And number three, this one is definitely more of a picky one, but I work for the richest, well, one of the richest men in the world. It's always between him and Elon Musk, but I work for the richest man in the world and it does not feel like it at all. The warehouses feel just kind of bare minimum. Like they did have FC games, which is sort of cool, I guess. But the, other than that, like, yeah, they have AC, which is cool. I've never worked at a warehouse that had AC before, but that is such a bare minimum thing to have AC. Other than that, the warehouses aren't really anything like that crazy. Like I'm just going to use my mom's job as an example because my mom works for a really good company. My mom's job treats them well. The office is really nice, like really, really cool office. Uh, right downstairs, there's so many food options, like all that good stuff. They literally have a gym inside of their office, like a big public gym for anyone who works there to use, like all of this good stuff. And they are not, they are definitely not owned by the richest person in the world, not even close. And my job, all it is, is a warehouse. I really feel like we should have like a cafeteria or something at least. Like some, like definitely some food options on site, like maybe a Starbucks or like just something like that. You would think that the richest man in the world who owns such a huge company would at least like add like a Starbucks or something big to it, something really special that separates it from other warehouses, maybe like a cafeteria, just anything like that. Like it's very strange to me that we don't have something like that when we are working for the richest person in the world. Of course, this is being a little bit picky and maybe a little bit privileged or something, but I just feel like we work for such a rich man, like we should have something really unique. And that that's just my thought, honestly. Again, I use my mom's job as an example because her job has so many cool amenities and she's not working for the richest person in the world her job is just treating her well and i just wish it was the same i know again this is a little bit picky and kind of does sound privileged but i just feel like we should get more let me know down in the comments below if you agree with this and if you do agree with this let me know what you would like to see added into the warehouse that would make it a lot more enjoyable of an experience because again our job is so boring and there's not that many cool amenities for people who work for the richest man in the world. Like I honestly think that. Now for number four, this one is something I really, really despise about working here. And that is that there is not enough time off at all. It depends on your state, but for most locations and for mine specifically as well, you get 48 hours maximum of PTO per year, 48. Like that is absurd. At my wife's job, she's part-time and she gets far, far more PTO than me per year. And she's only a part-timer there. She's not even full-time, but she gets way more PTO than me. When she wants to take off, if she wants to take a few days off any, at any point in time, she can. With me specifically, knowing that I only get 48 hours, that's not even five full days of paid time off the, for the entire year. I know that I have to really, really be careful for when I take time off. And in my opinion, 48 hours, like, I don't know. I don't see a lot of people complaining about this. I feel like it's just me, but for me, that is trash. Like, I'll be straight up honest. That is garbage to me. 48 hours is trash. Personally, that is not enough for an entire year. Almost five days off for an entire year, trash. You do get vacation time as well, but unless you've been here for longer than a year, you build vacation time so, so slow. I completely forgot what the actual metric is for sure, but I swear it's like every two weeks of work, you get like one and a half hour of vacation time. Could be completely wrong about that. I'll go ahead and put the right one up somewhere here on the screen. 
the right amount because I know that it's, I just know that it's a tiny, tiny amount. And I remember my first year at Amazon, I didn't take a vacation for almost, no, I don't even think I took one at all for the entire first year because you gain time so, so slow. Like I honestly, I feel like I gained like one hour of vacation time for the entire month, maybe two hours for the entire month. And to me, that is straight up garbage. Like that is not enough time off for somebody to just and go out and enjoy themselves. I just remember going through the first year thinking, geez, why am I gaining time so slow? Now that I've hit the year mark though, I gain time so much faster. I think you double your speed once you hit a year and now it feels like I'm really, really gaining time. Like a couple weeks ago, I had like 10 hours or something like that. And, I, and just a couple weeks later, I have 16 hours now. That is a good pace to gain vacation time in my opinion. Before, like I think by, if I had 10 hours before and I was still just below my year mark, I think I would have had like 10 hours a few weeks ago and I would have had like uh, maybe 11 or 12 hours now, which is extremely slow. I definitely do enjoy that I've gained uh, my time a lot faster now, but still, I still don't think it's enough time off, to be honest. Especially for such boring work that you do and the fact that you're there and there's MET pretty often, it's just, it's not enough. And then of course there's UPT, but you're so limited to that as well and it's unpaid. I like how the time that we gain the most is unpaid. It makes no sense in my opinion. We should have more PTO per year. Like we should have, in my opinion, we should have well over 80 hours. Even 80 hours to me is not enough. We should have over 80 hours. We should have way more vacation time. We should gain it way faster. We should probably start off the year with some vacation time. And UPT, um, I mean, I'm happy with the amount of UPT we get. I, I think it's a fair amount. I just wish it was paid time off instead of unpaid time off. but. Yeah, that's my number four is that we just do not get enough time off at all. I think if we doubled the amount of time off we got now, it would be nice, but it's it still might not even be enough in my opinion. And before I get up to number five, I do want to say, make sure you've hit the subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed, we're trying to hit 1500. Once we hit 1500, we're going to be doing our first ever live stream. We're going to be hanging out, playing video games, all chatting. You could ask me questions. We could just talk about anything. We're going to be doing that once we hit 1500 subscribers. So definitely make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. If you're this far into the video and you're not, I know you're enjoying it. So just make sure you hit that subscribe button and like down below. And now let's get on to number five. So for number five is that this company is so strict about bathroom usage. And I know previously, a couple of months ago, they did a huge announcement that they're gonna stop doing TOT or they're gonna change they're gonna change the TOT laws because it's too abusive towards their employees. Like they literally did release an article about that. Nothing's changed, it's still the same. You still get 30 minutes per day. I don't know when they're gonna change it or if they're ever going to change it. Like maybe that was just a PR move, but 30 minutes per day for the, for to use the bathroom doesn't even include the fact that you have to walk sometimes you could walk like 10 minutes to the bathroom it's inhumane that's facts it's inhumane 30 minutes for like, like let's say you work a 12-hour shift you only have 30 minutes to use the bathroom seriously when it takes so long to get to the bathroom and back like let's say the only one on your floor is taken sometimes it, that happens not even sometimes that happens a lot where i work personally so you have to go down to another floor and find a different one that could take like 10 minutes let's let's just let's be generous and say that just takes five minutes to find one five minutes there five minutes back and then you're gonna use the restroom, let's just say five minutes. That's half of your thing gone on using the restroom one time. One single time. The fact that they're so strict about bathroom usage, it's very, very upsetting. It's very, very inhumane. I hate it so, so much, but yeah, I mean, again, they released a statement saying that they're gonna stop doing that, but nothing has changed. It's the same thing when they said they're gonna stop drug testing for marijuana and all that. They never changed that either. Those things are still in place, even though they said they were gonna change it. I'm not sure when it's going to change. I will release a video when it does change, but. For now, I mean, nothing's changed at all and we still have very, very strict bathroom rules. But I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. That Those are five reasons why I hate working at Amazon. I could definitely do another video just like this. So if you want to see one, go ahead and comment down below. And this is not it. On Friday, I have another one coming where I'm going to be speaking five reasons why I love working at Amazon. This one's going to be a lot more positive. I'm gonna be talking about why I like working at Amazon, my favorite things about working there. And yeah, well, with that being said, I'm gonna end out there, guys. Remember to hit subscribe button down below if you haven't already. Leave a like on this video and I'll catch you guys on the next one. I love you all so much. Peace.